Hello, welcome to another episode of SPA Design. In this episode, I wanted to make the holes for the valves to go through, so the so also make the cylinders for the valves to go through. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I think uh, that we managed to do that in about 10 minutes. So to start off, select this surface right here and click on Sketch. Once you did that, click on the Convert Entities and let's say we make another hole that has a radius of about um, it's about five, I guess. And once you made that one circle that has a radius of about five, let's make another one around it that is about six point or let's let's just say thirteen. And also make sure that this one stays at ten. And let's extrude that one in the other direction. Let's say to up to about ninety, I guess. Yeah, ninety works. And once you did that, go back to the surface and click on cut extrude. Click on convert entities and use this surface as a guideline of the surface. And as you can see, the hole disappeared. But we can now click on this face right here. Go back to the cut extrude. Use the circle tool, or not even the circle tool. We can just use the convert entities tool. Before you do that, um, deselect this face. So make sure it isn't selected. Click on convert entities and select this face right here. And now we can use the cut extrude tool and make sure that and goes all the way through. We need to make another cylinder that sits on top of this space right here to uh, make space for the file spring that we're going to use. So select the surface, click on the circle tool and let's make a circle that is about uh, let's say 15 millimeters in radius. Maybe if it's 20. Yeah, I think 20 is better. And let's extrude that one about 2 millimeters. And use the select this face again and click on sketch. Use the offset entities tool and let's make it about two millimeters and reverse it so it goes inward. And also use the convert entities tool on this face right here and click again on extrude and let's extrude that to up about 40 millimeters. Yeah, I think 40 millimeters would work. And also make sure that the hole goes through that face right there so from the bottom you can really look at it. Click on the face and click on sketch. Use the convert entities tool and click on cut extrude and make sure it penetrates everything in that space right there. So now we have the first one done. So do the same on the other side. So select the surface again, click on sketch, use the circle tool, and from the center we um, had to make one circle that with a radius of 5 and we need to make a second with a radius of 6.5 so drag them both out again up to 90 millimeters in the other direction and from this surface again click on sketch convert entities and click on extrude cut and then Double click this surface right here to so make sure that, that it's up to that surface right there. 
and then again um, click on this surface click on sketch select the surface that we want to extrude convert entities extrude cut and like that for the second one make a circle with a 20 millimeter radius once you made a circle click on extrude emboss and I believe it was three millimeters or not so and again select that surface click on sketch convert entities select the surface again and the offset entities with its own millimeter edge and again use the boss extrude tool for 40 millimeters I believe it was yep. and the last thing we need to do is select this surface right here click on extrude cut convert entities and again So once we did that, we can now go to the mirror tool and body to mirror. So as you can see, these two interfere a little bit with each other. So to fix that, go back to um, the before the mirror. And that itself is not a big problem. But select this face, go to cut extrude and make sure that the face that we don't need is actually really cut off like so so once you did that go to the mirror again and select everything and as you can see we now have these two ports and if you see that, the, that there's no distance between these two and there is distance between these two that's because we uh, based them on these holes right here and because these ports are smaller the distance between these two are also smaller but that's not a problem that's actually just what we want to have because we need the, the valves the valve surfaces to, to really sit flush with this surface in order to create the maximum pressure and the maximum temperature that we want in our cylinder so that's actually a good thing yeah, I actually just wanted to keep it at that for this episode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you learned something, that you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter at SPA Design. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.